everybody, Monica here with the Museum of Arts and Sciences and I'm back with another painting tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to do paper marbling. You guys can see all the different kinds. It's a great project to do with kids or to find an inexpensive way to decorate your house. All right, so now that you've got your supplies, let's go ahead and get our workstation set up First and foremost, make sure you put down a protective covering over your table to protect it from paint or whatever surface you're working on. Next, I've got my bin of water. I'm using lukewarm water from the tap, uh, nothing added to it. However, if you would like a thick base to make your colors extra vibrant and really make the paint float, you can make a thicker base in-house without buying extra supplies by just boiling some water on the stove top with cornstarch and that'll work great. However, it's not necessary. I'm just using plain tap water. I've got my three colors of paint that I'm using, which you can use any colors you'd like. And I've got them in their cups and I've got an extra cup of water here that I've already poured into the cups of paint. And I've mixed it around to make the paint super fluid and easy to work with. Next, you've got your paper, of course, which I've pre-cut already to fit into my bin. Really important, you wanna make sure that before you put water um, or you get started that your paper fits within the bin you're using. This is just gonna make sure that all of the surface of the paper gets covered in paint. If you don't, then you're gonna have corners sticking out and it's not gonna work as well. So that's a really important step. And once you've got that done, you can go ahead and start adding the paint to the water. And all I do is I take my paintbrush and I just tap it over the water and you can kind of see some of the paint already floating on the top. The heavier pigment will sink to the bottom and that's okay. And I'm gonna add one of my other colors to this other side and you can see when you add more color, it pushes the other color you already put away. You just see how that pushes it all away to create that marbling effect. Want to work fairly quickly to make sure that you get enough paint to kind of soak it all in. And when you get a design that you like, you can grab your paper, which I kind of like the way this is all looking looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. You can use the back of your paintbrush, a clean paintbrush or your finger or a stick to kind of swirl it around if you would like. I don't like to, I like to let it kind of float on its own and create its own artwork. And I'm just gonna place my paper right in the area that I want it to be. And you'll start to see it show through the back of it. And then once your edges start to curl like that, that means your paper's ready and you just swipe it up and you've got it on your paper. And then really quickly, you do wanna run to your sink to rinse off all of that extra water that's on there. So I'm gonna go do that. And when you've rinsed it off, which is just quickly rinsing under your sink, it kind of comes out like that and you just lay it flat to dry. And you get your artwork. I'm gonna make another one. So let me go really quick, clean out this water. Um, you can sometimes use the same water over and over, but I do recommend using cleaner water. It's just to help make sure that your artwork stays as clean and crisp as possible. All right, I'm back. I've got clean water. I'm gonna go ahead and make a second one to kind of see which artwork I like more. I do want some more black in that picture. So I'm gonna start with my black this time. Kind of liking the way this looks so I'm gonna go ahead and place my paper down more closer to this side since I like that more. It's okay if it comes over just a smidge. It's not gonna harm it too much. Now that my paper is curling I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and I'm going to go rinse that extra water off and I definitely like this one a little bit more than the other one. So it looks pretty cool. And let me just show you really quick the reason why I say to rinse the water off the top of it, the dirty water. It's because if you don't rinse the extra water, oh God, 
Well, that didn't go very well. But if you don't rinse the extra water off of the paper, it ends up drying onto the paper, so then it looks kind of like this. This is one of my practice runs. And so you just don't get that same marbling look that you are looking for.